Check this. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted ice. God, Sepo, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Let whale bone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. All these people you have brought here, this life you have built on these stranger shores, does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like... Memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And... welcome home.
Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. There is more to be done, Eivor. I have to go. Then go in peace. What are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor! We need your help! Who's we? S Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No. They're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. Knut, you have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. You did it! You brought Eivor! Good work, Knut! What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh, that is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. A wolf! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby. The children must have missed you, poor fellow. Or well, they might be singing a different song. It looks like something attacked you. An animal. No key here. I should look around. It's a shame Wallace isn't here to butcher you. But I need to see if you're carrying a key. Free that wolf, and pray to Tyr that I needn't slay it in front of the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. Liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy, easy. Another kind look to you, I think. <laughs> 
Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. that at all. We should name her... Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her... Chewy. Because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Davulfka. It has an absurd sound, just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes! Befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Glad to see you made it, Chelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. 
The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. You have not... At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yal's corner, and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. If you're not yet drunk, you should be. This is a feast and a celebration of Sigurd's leadership. Enjoy it. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randri? It does!
the gods. Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Giedland. While there's none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warn them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him, now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. What is happening here? 
Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All-Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane.
The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. Prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate, your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? You three spin our destinies as a thread in fabric. The threads may be unraveled by snags and catches. Not all can be foreseen. But loose threads can be rewoven or restrung. At day's end, the tapestry will be preserved. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins?
ability to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of certain... Smash your way out of certain death. Who crushed the skull of Thrymur, king of the Yotnar? Who slew Gareth as a gunshot with the flaming ball of... Yow, 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 yow. And it was all well done. We'll come back. But Shield the... Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight. We are fighting. For our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While well, we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Harvey, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence, all of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Freya, Queen of Asgard. Will you fight at my side? I'm with you, Havi. Let the Bifrost shimmer with the blood of their dead. The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Come, Harvey. Tonight we drink and swive, but now's the hour we prove our might. of you guard the Great Hall! With me! I gift this battle to myself!
What's that? You've done us no favors, Ega Jotun. Wait, no. Just, you're just... Uh, uh. Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. <laughs> what is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse or a secret curse? Neither, I won. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? And what do you want in exchange for the shield, other than your freedom? I must give that a thought, a very deep thought. It would not be a simple task, and I do have my reputation to consider. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? 
It's a place of great power and vital magic. A source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the Builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. I know all your secrets. The sunstone has been moved. The light's path is shifted. Loki said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Javi? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? Strange omens and wild portents. Something evil is stirring. And I cannot always sift the truth from what is false. Farseer, you have sighed beyond us all. I have no doubt you will prevail over what troubles you. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me, to challenge me, to pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will. 
as long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. Once or twice, the light has found its mark. The stone is lit. I doubt the Nornir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence. The well is open to us. I will lead. Take what you need and do it quickly. We should not linger. Here. I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Avi. Has your mind fled you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. My mind is my own, dear. But you pose a curious thought. Could one mind usurp another's? The hooger of one in the body of someone else. Are you drunk on these waters? Take your flask, forget the wolf, and let us be gone, before the Nornir weave us a pair of shackles. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further down.
Loki. entered the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for? I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful? Calm? Quiet? What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cup with us, trespassing on sacred ground. A tear took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? The wolf lives, but Tyr will cage the beast that is whole. I want no free wolves in Asgard. Ah, yes. Good. A wise decision, Harvey. I wanted to kill it, but Tyr stayed my hand. Tyr is pragmatic, and it serves him well. You should heed him more often. Now tell me plainly, where is the Builder? In a meadow, not far from here. Your raven may find the way. Have a look, Sunin. Builder! Ah, your timing is perfect. <clears throat> We found the perfect spot. Did you bring the water? As promised. Wonderful. As it blends with my paint, its magic will power the runes of protection that I hear inscribe. No rune will protect you from my wrath if I catch you playing games. A perfect mix. Wait, what are you doing? Harnessing Hooker magic to bind my spirit to these enchantments. It amplifies the strength. Hooker magic? You learned this from the Jotnar? They practice a form of Hooker magic, but this is my own technique. And it's just about done. Could you lend a hand and bring me a few jars of paint? As many as you can. Be careful with that jar. It's fragile. Easy. Remember, just place it. Don't break it. Do take care. We can replace the paint, but the time to prepare it is lost. That's well enough. Exactly the right spot. What now, Builder? Perhaps you should move out of the way. Atop that rock, the view will be much better. Huh. 
There. Will that do? It will indeed. Hold. Hold. And there it is. A thing of beauty. The runes you painted conjured the shield. They did. And if all goes well, it will protect your allies and roast your enemies. Show me. With pleasure. Draw some invaders out from the woods and into the shield. Alive, of course. They must be alive. The barrier will not harm me as I cross? You have my word, Han. Let's see you, old friend. Stinking shits, skulking. Am I so fearsome that you hide like mice in a farmer's field? Look at that, like moths to a flame. Come, you father's curse. I am one, and you are many. What have you got to lose? The fools, they run towards their doom. Builder, is your shield supposed to flicker like that? The shield is unstable! Your shield is failing, Builder. They are passing through. I don't understand. They should be dead. Hold him off while I try to restore it! summons an army, but it's as weak as your word. This is not what you promised. Never mind that now. Coming from all sides. I should have let Loki have his way with you. Wonders. It worked well enough. Impressive, but unstable. Don't fear, my friend. The problem is no more. I have mixed the proper solution. With enough materials and the right incentive, I pledged to build a tower so tall it would shield all of Asgard. 
Materials we can find, that is no issue. What incentive do you mean? Oh, just a trifle. Nothing grand. I only want Freya as my wife and queen. Your coming here was no accident, was it? You desired Freya well before you arrived. If I had announced my desire from the start, you would have hurled me back through that portal. But my offer is honest and my magic is real. For a wife and a queen, I will give you the means to protect your kind. Freya is not mine to barter like a bale of wheat. I will ask her what she desires. Do what you must, but my price stands firm. No Freya, no shield. I have no other needs. And you have no other friends. So tread lightly here.